Welcome to another great episode of American Rifleman Television. Now, the objective of Operation Market Garden was to get across the Rhine River. Sadly, the British 1st Airborne Division didn't receive help in time. This battle resulted essentially in the destruction of the British 1st Airborne Division. This week's Rifleman Review is the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield EZ-9. Smith & Wesson took the basic gun that was the M&P 380 EZ and upgunned it to 9mm. For this week's Eye of the Sold Gun, we'll look at the U.S. Model 1855 rifle musket, of course used during the American Civil War. But right now, let's look at the British 1st Airborne and the battle for Arnhem. The British 1st Airborne Division was assigned the mission of landing by parachute and glider just to the west of the town of Arnhem in the vicinity of two little villages, one called Wolfhäse, the other one called Osterbeek. Once the division had organized on the drop zones and landing zones, they were to move then eastward along the Lower Rhine River and into the town of Arnhem. In the center of town, a bridge crossed the Rhine and the last step for the ground forces of the garden component of Operation Market Garden. As the main body of the 1st Airborne Division attempts to fight its way through to the bridgehead being held by 700 or so men, mainly from the 2nd Battalion of the Parachute Regiment, they are met by intense enemy opposition. And this devolves into a situation where the main body of the 1st Airborne Division forms into a U-shaped perimeter uh, in the vicinity of the village of Osterbeek, while men of the 2nd Battalion of the Parachute Regiment mainly are in a little narrow perimeter on the northern end of the Lower Rhine River Bridge in the city center of Arnhem. While it seemed that the entire firearms industry was focused on stuffing more cartridges into tiny pistols, the guys over at Smith & Wesson went a different direction and recently introduced the MMP 380 Shield EZ, which was designed to reach those shooters who may have difficulty with modern striker-fired pistols, racking the gun, loading the pistol, disassembling the gun. All of these things were addressed in the EZ in really a pretty innovative and ingenious design, and we've covered it in depth here at American Rifleman. In terms of the Model 1855, the mechanism is really just fascinating because rather than using the standalone percussion priming cap, it incorporates what's called the Maynard Tape Primer System. And what the Maynard Tape Primer allows soldiers to do is to use a roll of uh, little percussion caps, essentially. And that roll is fed up through the lock plate of the rifle musket. And there's a little gear mechanism inside the lock that turns as the hammer is cocked. And the gear is calibrated so that as it turns, the percussion priming cap actually rolls up to the next available cap and places it right over the nipple of the rifle. 